Coach, exciting news today. You have to be thrilled with the fact that you get the opportunity to coach in Rec Hall. I can't wait. Um, you know, being there as a, as a fan and watching games there and, and just being around Bruce as much as I, as I have the last couple summers, um, just talking about the excitement of it. And, and then the alumni and fans in general just coming up to me, got to play in Rec. It's amazing. It's amazing. You gotta. So to be able to coach there, and the people being on top of you, I'm sure I'll probably go th right through my suit coat. And, uh, but that's what it's all about. Take us through the, the process. It took a lot of effort, a lot of time, a lot of commitment from a lot of different people to get to this point. Talk about that. You know, it did. It took us about a year. Um, we had many meetings of myself, Brian Seacrest, Lauren Crispel, Dave Caproletti, and we just kept going, okay, how can we do this? How can we get this done? And then when we realized, you know, another challenge or another obstacle and – you know, the floor being one, and I'm very fortunate to have a brother who's in the flooring business, so we talked to him, and we got a great company, Prater, who uh, works for the NCA. He's going to come in and do that for us. And then the clock issues, and then there's seating issues, and then there's, you know, fire alarm issues and police, you know, it's uh, everything. You, you can't even imagine the logistical red tape around this uh, game. It, it really took a lot of effort and energy from, from our ever, all staffs. And, um, you know, we finally came to it, and that's when we gave it to Dr. Joyner, and he said, you know what, you guys have worked hard on this, and this could be a great thing at this time for, for our university. What does this opportunity mean for the players on the current roster? They, I mean, they got to be fired up. they got to be thrilled. I mean, they've heard stories about playing in Red Call. I mean, we have the alumni come back. They tell stories about being in the gym, being packed house, the home court advantage, the fans are on the floor. They're a part of the game. They're almost taking dives and charges. I mean, they got to be jacked up and excited to play in there. And I think it's just going to be a memory for them that's going to last a lifetime. What do you want to tell the fans? Fans, thank you. We heard you. We listened. And now it's the possibilities are now reality, and the game is December 14th. Please mark your calendars, make your adjustments. Whatever you had planned, a Christmas party, you're going to have to cancel. You can wait for that Christmas party. Come on out to Rec Hall and support the, the Nittany Lions. Now you're getting close to heading overseas. Talk about how the foreign practices have gone so far, and what do you like about your team? You know what I like about this team? They, they compete. You know, they're, they're getting after each other. Um, high IQ team, too. I put one thing in, they pick it up right away, and I'm like, wow, this is great. I can move right on. So because of their IQ and because of their competition level, I've been really pleased with the first four practices. How valuable is this time for Tim Frazier, the young guys you were talking about in the press conference, to have 10 practices and then play some games to get you ready for the fall? No question. I mean, I think it's invaluable for Tim Frazier because he's been out for almost nine months. And to come off an injury like that, you know, it's mental too. So physically, I think he looks great. Mentally, he's kind of hesitant here and there. To be able to play in a game, to get his timing back, to get his speed back, to get his jumping ability back, I think it's invaluable for him. And then when you think about an Allen Roberts, who's a fifth-year guy, this is huge for him because other, you know, other programs only have you know, October 1st, whatever they're going to start. But we now have July mm -hmm. and, and some of August to get 10 practices in, so it's going to be great for him as well. Coach, we greatly appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Looking forward to the return to Rec Hall. Thanks, Tony.